Hello and welcome to Artifacts with Edie, a live show and tell of the artifacts at the Summit County Historical Society. My name is Edie Steiner and I'm a music therapist with Akron Public Schools at Bridges Learning Center. I'm also the shepherdess here at the Summit County Historical Society. And once again, we are broadcasting to you live from the carriage house because it's pouring outside. Uh, we are at the Perkins Stone Mansion property in the heart of the city of Akron, and we're getting ready for the big test. We hope you've been studying all week long for Are You Smarter Than a Border Collie? A special hello this morning to Dave Gates and Leanne Neff Hepner, President and CEO of the Society. These folks help write scripts and curate artifacts and continue to keep me virtually organized. They are historically amazing people there's still time to participate in today's game, Are You Smarter Than a Border Collie? So place your browser on kahoot.it and you're going to use the code 4503483. Again, that code is 4503483. If there's a little bit of lag in the video, Hang tight because you will um, be able to catch up with us live also on a Google Meet. If you've never done Google Meet before, basically you're just going to be able to see my computer screen. You'll be able to see it in real time and we'll um, be able to make sure that if there is lag, you get all the information you need. So the Google Meet is um, going to also come up at the bottom of your screen, but I'm going to go ahead and read it to you just to make sure. It's meet google.com and you're going to use the code J R P O T P H dash M S X. And those are all lowercase levels letters. They are also placed on our Facebook page. So you could go ahead and click on that post that we put out just a um, little bit ago and join us in that Google Meet. So while you are setting up your devices and clicking on those links, let's go ahead and find out who are your opponents today. Are you smarter than a Border Collie? Let's meet who you're playing against today. First up is Owen Brown. He can work the sheep, but he's also a little baddie. Next up, Rudolph Adams. He gets the job done no matter how hard the job is. Don't find him playing around too much on the farm. Next up is Lincoln. When Lincoln isn't working sheep on the farm, he works for a pool company, emptying pools in the greater community. Who's the guy to watch? Well, even Lincoln's watching him. That's Luke Grasswalker. When Luke isn't taking the sheep for a long drive, he likes to sit around and chill in the sun. Well, we said we wouldn't catch Rudy messing around, but look what we found. Well, let's get ready to play. Are you smarter than a Border Collie? We are playing live right now, which means anything can happen and sometimes does. Later today, we will post a second code for you so you can play anytime over this long holiday weekend. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and place all of the codes for the Are You Smarter Than a Border Collie games that we've had over the past four weeks so you can play them all this weekend. And we hope you post your scores too. Today, the boys are going to be enjoying Primal Pet Foods, pork formula. This is actually a complete diet of dog food. Um, Primal Pet Foods is a family favorite of ours. It's a high value, complete diet. And I'm saying it's high value because in training, the boys are very excited to train for us today. And you can probably hear Owen in the background. He is ready to play this game. 
Made in the United States, Primal Pet Foods has no preservatives. It's grain free and it's balanced in exactly what the boys need to stay healthy as working dogs. And your dog could use it too, and also in cat formulas. So you could teach your dog how to play Kahoot just like the boys have learned. I placed a video on um, the Summit County Historical Society's YouTube page. And um, if you'd like to check that out, then you can also teach your dog and cat how to play, and maybe they could play along with us sometime. So once again, our Kahoot dot it code is four five zero three four eight three again that's four five zero three four eight three and um it would be easier for you to watch on one device and play on another device but if you go into that google meet you can play in real time with us and see all of the things that are up on my computer screen you can join either way or any way that you like to play so let's get started with playing the game today it looks like and it sounds like owen is ready to play so owen shh, shh, shh. so the answers will only appear in the live feed or whenever you play with them later so you can join us on our google meet to see the computer in real time again there's always that possibility of lag but let's get ready to play are you smarter than a border collie fellow historians get your computers ready Happy Hospital History Week in three, two, one. The first one is a poll, Hospital History Week. What was your favorite artifact this week? Was it red, the doctor's bag, blue, the picture of um, the Mary Day Nursery School picture that we showed? Was it Miss Lydia Part um, Pinkham's vegetable compound or was it the water bottle? Let's go ahead and make our choices. Come on, boys. Owen goes right in for green. He also took the yellow. Lincoln's going to go ahead and, oh, Lincoln didn't even get a chance to play this time. All right. Was it the doctor's bag? Oh, we've got all over the board. We've got people enjoying different parts of our programming this week. Um, we had four different artifacts from the history of Akron hospitals. And I think we might be ready to move on to the next question. Let's see how we're doing on our leaderboard. A result of the rubber industry coming to Akron was, was it red, goods were imported, blue, a population increase, yellow, the zoo was opened, or green, more restaurants? Is it red, goods were imported, blue, a population increase, Yellow, the zoo was open, or green, more restaurants. Come on, boys. Owen oh, goes right in there, clears the whole board. He selected green first, though. He's got quite the technique today. <laughs> so what was your favorite? He just swooped all those, all of the Primal Pet Foods um, freeze-dried nuggets. This is a complete diet for dogs, so he's pretty much getting his breakfast and his lunch all at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and get our dogs back in position. A result of the rubber industry coming to Akron. Oh, that is correct. The result of the rubber industry coming to Akron was that there was a population increase. That is absolutely correct. Um, the population increase also brought lots of jobs and. We had lots of jobs in Akron, but also there became a housing crisis. And we talked about the fact that um, during this housing crisis, that there was um, the opportunity for some diseases, uh, communicable diseases to be transmitted during that time. And it was um, a time of change in Akron. So first place, we've got AB back. Uh, playing in first place, Blue by You in second place, and Luke and Lincoln haven't even made it on the board today. All right, we're gonna get ready for our next question. Question three, which hospital was the first to use a thermometer? Was it Red, Akron Children's, or People's Hospital, now the Cleveland Clinic, Akron General? Was it Blue, Children's Hospital? Was it yellow, Hospital of the Western Reserve, or green, Akron City Hospital, which is now Summa Hospital? Lincoln, come. Oh, 
Owen started with blue this time. He went blue, green, yellow, red. Lincoln didn't even get to make a choice this time. Poor Lincoln, been trying to play the game and it hasn't been working out for him. Which hospital was the first to use a thermometer? Is it red, People's Hospital, now the Cleveland Clinic, Akron, blue, Akron Children's Hospital, or yellow, a, a hospital of the Western Reserve, or green, Akron City Hospital, now Summa Health. That's right, it was Akron City Hospital, now Summa Health. Let's see how our scoreboard's doing here. AB moved up into first place, Luke and Lincoln going in second place and trailing behind is Blue by You. All right, we're getting ready for our next question. I'm going to go ahead and set up the game and get us set up for the next, the next round here. We're getting ready for the dogs to answer questions. Owen says that he is going to pick all the answers once again. So as we get set up for this next question, here we go, question four. These kids at Sun, Sunshine Cottage are red, being lazy, blue, recovering from tuberculosis, yellow, reenacting the Ohio and Erie Canal, or is it green, none of the above? Come on, boys. Owen goes for green, yellow, and then blue. Are these kids at Sunshine Cottage, are they being lazy? Are they reenacting the Ohio and Erie Canal? Or are they um, none of the above, which was green or yellow? That is correct. These children at Sunshine Cottage are were doing exactly what Dr. Martin said they should do. They're spending time outside recovering from tuberculosis, having fun in the sun, and probably building friendships and relationships that last a lifetime. Good work, scholars. That means that we are moving on. AB is um, catching on fire there. Luke and Lincoln and Blue by You. Next question, question five. If Owen studies hard, what could he do at Children's Hospital? Is it red, be a doctor? Blue, be a scientist? Yellow, join the doggy brigade? Or green, drive valet? Let's find out. Come on, guys. Owen went for red first. He says he could be a doctor. I always knew we'd have a finally have a doctor in the family. He did pick to join the doggy brigade as his second choice today. So if Owen studies hard, what could he do at Akron Children's Hospital? Could he join the doggy brigade? Could he become a doctor? Oh, it looks like everyone got it correct today. Join the doggy brigade. That's what Owen could do if he studies hard. The Akron Children's Hospital has not only volunteers that are humans, but they also have a volunteer brigade of dogs, as do many hospitals these days. Those dogs really have to study hard and be up for the challenge. So here's to Owen um, challenging himself in that unique way. Let's move on. It looks like AB is keeping that lead with Luke and Lincoln not far behind, answering on the second doggy table and Blue Bayou in third place. Here we go, question six. Chefs at the Cleveland Clinic, Akron General, always kept what for a special patient? The chefs, this is, you have to type your answer in. Chefs at the Cleveland Clinic always kept a special item on or in their ovens for a very special patient. Type in that answer. This um, special patient then donated their estate to the hospital because the doctors, the nurses, the um, ground staff, the custodians, all of those people were always so kind and generous to her. She decided that the hospital should use that money to continue their remarkable services. So what, what was it? The chefs at Akron General always kept what ready for a very special patient? Owen thinks he knows the answer. This one, the dogs will have to just type in. 
All right, it looks like the correct answers were a baked potato or baked potato. We've got two correct answers. Oh, not having opposable thumbs really made answering difficult for Luke and Lincoln. Well, better luck next time. I should have had cards with the words on it, but I didn't think ahead. All right, let's keep moving on. AB's in first place, Blue Bayou in second place now, and Luke and Lincoln in third. Let's keep moving on. Question seven. The best treatment for tuberculosis that Dr. Mountain found was rest, relax, and restore, red, blue, hot baths and quarantine, yellow, Mrs. Lydia's Pinkham's vegetable compound, or green, fresh air and good food. Come on, boys. Lincoln went, or Owen went right for green. Then he, um, Cleared the board once again. Owen is clearing the board nonstop. It, was it red, rest and relax and restore? Was it blue, hot baths and quarantine? Yellow, Mrs. Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound? Mm -hmm. Or green, fresh air and good food? That is correct. Fresh air and good food was our correct response. Dr. Martin said, um, we had that botany student who was up in the Himalayan mountains, and he found that when he spent time outside in the fresh air and eating fresh foods, that he was feeling much, much better. All right, this round, let's let just Lincoln come over and answer. So we'll hold Owen back this time just for a quick second and let him answer on the other board. All right, this is our last question today. Owen, thank you for being very excited about playing. I told you they would be. Last question today. This is a puzzle. So we have to, what, or, what order were the artifacts presented this week? We have the red BF Goodrich bottle. The green, the, um, green is the painting of Mary Perkins Raymond Yule. Yellow, Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Or blue, the doctor's bag. Put those in order. Lincoln, come on. Lincoln says it's green, yellow, blue, then red. All right, Lincoln got his answers in. We can go ahead and let Owen go then too. What order were the artifacts presented this week? Which one came first, next? What did we do on Wednesday? And what did we do yesterday? This is sometimes even a challenge for us. What order were the artifacts presented this week? All right, it looks like our hospital history artifacts with Edie winners third place this week are Luke and Lincoln. Second place is Blue by You. And first place, with seven out of eight questions correct, A.B. You are smarter than a border collie. Lincoln, come over here. That, congratulations to our winners. It is exciting to have you um, be part of our show. We are so excited that you were able to score 5,762 points. I know that the dogs um, are very excited to play. It's difficult sometimes to get them in the right place at the right time. We have two boards and not quite enough cameras. So hopefully in the future, we'll have enough cameras where we can show you everything that's going on in the background here as we try to get these Border Collies to play the game along with us. So we're getting ready for a big holiday three-day weekend. It is, we will have only a show on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. So four days of shows. And actually next week, starting Tuesday, we will be at another historic location. I wonder if you can guess where our historically fun field trip will take us next week. We wanna remind you that also next week, as we wrap up for the end of the school year, Next Friday will be the last episode of Artifacts with Edie as we move to our summer programming here at the Summit County Historical Society. So 
I will wish you a happy weekend and I thank you for joining us today. My name is Edie and thank you for joining us on Artifacts with Edie, a live show and tell of the artifacts at the Summit County Historical Society where history is always within reach. Thank you for joining us.